Uh, new trouble. Oh, we just talked about Alex Jones. New trouble for Alex Jones and court totally fight with Sandy me. Hook family. Yeah, I didn't know you pulled for this, but I had heard this. That's why I kind of mentioned it when Alex came up earlier. I know he's got he's having a he's struggling in this lawsuit, and uh, I actually sat through and watched his entire deposition in this suit, and I knew he was in trouble at the end of it. It uh. is. It's shocking. I cannot recall that. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to take this tact that he didn't know anything about Infowars and wasn't willing to uh, answer who the members of the board of it were. I mean, he clearly knew he was in trouble, and it's looking like he is. Not really sure where you're going with this, Paul. Not not really sure where you're going with this. Read a little bit of this to us. I want to see, like, exactly what happened. Extremist Alex Jones' latest court troubles involve more than routine pretrial wrangling with the Sandy Hook families who are suing him for defamation. The real fight is over the family's claim that the conspiracies Jones promoted as the front man of Infowars were calculated to drive business to his internet supplements business. Well, no shit. Uh, no, the, uh, we've been. <laughs> I mean, we've been calling him I a mean, supplement salesman. Everyone for knows. Years. Everyone knows. Everyone that's yeah. fucking got a brain in their head knows that Alex Jones at this point is a glorified supplement salesman. I am actually trying to. Exp- uh, who will say any crazy shit he needs to bro. to sell another fucking? You're lying, TJ. You're lying. Brain. You're a goddamn reptilian liar, dude. Jones is gonna win this suit, and then he's gonna come back and sue you. Good. The heart of the court case came into uh, came in dueling motions filed over the last two weeks by the families who accused Jones of deliberately withholding information about his business strategy to hide his motives, and by Jones, who accuses the families of having no proof and making him fish at his own expense for documents that don't exist. The families proceed at their own peril by insisting that Jones' defendants engage in sophisticated editorial content-making, targeting stories to products and seeking to stimulate sales by means of peddling known falsehoods likely to go viral, wrote Jones. At- I mean, I, if, you're, 100- like, if you're Alex Jones's attorney, you should not elucidate their case as well as you just did. Yeah. Like, why are you explaining what Jones did and just saying, no, my client did not engage in sophisticated <laughs> editorial <laughs> content. Like, why would Nuh-uh. you even fucking let those words escape your lips? You stupid know. fuck. This attorney should be fired. Alex Jones is a better fucking attorney because your attorney should not be because it's so clear when you say that sentence that that's exactly what the fuck he's doing, especially if you've ever watched InfoWars even one oh, time. Yeah, yeah. Trying that's to get clearly what he's doing and has been doing for a long time. Dude. Wrong. Simply put, there is no evidence to support the claim that Jones defendants knowingly market falsehoods for financial gain. There's no evidence against that is what you should be fucking saying. Oh, yeah, I mean, the judge overseeing the case has sided with the family. No shit. And will continue what? to. Ordering Jones under threat of punishment to turn over the family the, to the families the missing business records in question. They don't exist. Uh, fictitious records. I don't know. He's in a lot of trouble, guys. <laughs> the court will consider appropriate sanctions for Jones' failure to fully comply should he not produce the data in one week, and State Superior Court uh, Judge Barbara Bellis ruled Monday. It takes so long for shit like this to wind up. Because this, San- this is over Sandy Hook stuff. I mean, that's what <laughs> s- started this, right? I don't think anyone ex- yeah. expected anyone to have this much success in court against Alex Jones, though. I really um, honestly believe no one thought this was going to happen. I mean, I when we were I remember watching some of his crazy fucking conspiracy theories on Sandy Hook and shit. Sure. And um it doesn't surprise me that somebody's fucking sued him and it doesn't surprise me that it doesn't look good for him now that his business is involved. You know what I mean? Cuz we've been calling we've been making fun of all these things for so fucking long. His insane conspiracy theories about dead children. And his bone broth. They're and crisis actors, Paul. X Factor, you know, muscle builder shit. And, and the endless litany of fucking... Pizza, pizza gate. You know what I mean? He has this endless procession of fucking experts that come in to sell that shit to people. And he masks it as just another news story in the news day. I mean, all of this shit, uh, that at least, I think, probably deserves to be shut down. Oh, you'll love this, Paul. Uh, it says... Uh, as if his trouble in court on and on social media was not enough, Jones was forced to pay fifteen thousand dollars. You know why? Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I read about this. I do know why. Uh, why? It, PP the frog. Yep. To settle a copyright infringement lawsuit Pepe. involving a cartoon frog named uh, Pepe. No, it's PP. No, Pepe. It's PP. It's, it's Pepe. Say it right, man. Pepe. Say it right. PJ, no. Do you call it your little? 
Pepe? Or do you Pepe. call it your little? His name is Pepe. Pee pee the frog. You call it your little your little pee pee. But yeah, uh, the the guy, the, there's actually like the, there's you know Pepe pee pee whatever. Pee pee. It's not pee pee. Pee pee. He was created by a guy somewhere, and yeah. uh, a lot of right wingers have of course adopted the character. But there is an actual artist who actually holds a copyright on the character and who actually killed uh, killed the character, gave him a funeral. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> pee pee the frog. Is getting his payday now. All these alt right motherfuckers are gonna pay. Paid. Oh yeah. Pee coming back for you. He doesn't want to be a nasty symbol of hate. He's he wants ma- to be a, a wonderful frog, and he's dead too. You're pissing on his memory. He just wants to make some scratch now, Paul. How about this though? Hashtag redeem pee pee. 